Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you guys so much for joining me for today's video. Today I am so excited to get back into decorating and bringing you guys this pre-fall decorating video. I am beyond happy with the way it turned out. I hope you guys enjoy it and I hope this gives you some inspiration to decorate. Maybe if you're done with summer but you're not quite ready for fall yet, I think this is the perfect transition, at least in my opinion. Definitely let me know down below in the comments what you guys think. But I am so beyond excited to get the decorating videos started and i hope you guys are excited for them as well if you are new to my channel definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button and if you enjoy this video as always give it a thumbs up but today we are decorating my coffee bar and my dining room table and i love how it came out i hope you guys do too and without much further ado let's go ahead and get into the decorating you're like fresh spring water on a hot summer's day like a beautiful sun Okay friends, I am starting off by decorating my coffee bar shelf. If you guys did not know, my husband actually built this for me and I absolutely love decorating it for every single season. And as always, I started off by putting my central focus piece, which this year is this beautiful print I got from Hobby Lobby and I'm just balancing it out with some candlesticks on either end of the shelf. I usually don't do symmetrical displays, but in this case, since the print was so long, I just wanted to balance that out. In case you guys forgot what I did last year, I will pop a picture up on the screen, but I knew I wanted to use the same warm colors, earthy colors. I love using the rust and the oranges and the greens, but I obviously wanted to do something different from last year and I felt like this print really did inspire me and I love the way it turned out. Next to me. Your arms have carried me for miles, here's where I belong. And although I am sticking to these same colors I used last year with the rust and the greens and the oranges, I feel like the print made me incorporate a little bit more of like a mustard yellow color as well as the black and I felt like that truly made a difference and distinguished my decor from last year to this year. And completely refreshed what I was going for and I really love how it came out. Also the amazing thing about using the same color palette which I love is that I did not have to go out and buy a whole bunch of new decor. The only new thing I'm using here is that floral print in the middle as well as the floral stems that I will be placing in the amber vase in just a minute. But that is basically everything that's new, everything else I already had, even this floral stem right here. This is something I've had for the past two years. So definitely just go through your decor and figure out what you can use right now for the transition before fall and for your fall decor show me that i can be free and face the world again and i don't know where i would be or where i'll go if you weren't sitting next to me your love will carry me for life and i don't know where i would be or where i'll go if you weren't standing next to me your arms have carried me for miles here's where i 
And because it is not fall yet, I knew I wanted to use dried bottle gourds, but they have not arrived. So instead, I went to Walmart and picked these pears up just for a while for this video. But I will be replacing them with the dried gourds, which basically look the same. But you guys will see me use those throughout today's video. And then I will go ahead and eat them when I replace them with the gourds. But anyways, just finishing this side of the shelf with that cute little gold squirrel i was debating whether it was too fall but i ended up really liking how it looked so i used it anyways and now moving on to the other side just by adding some finishing details by the road with a nick in my head in the wrong side of town left you sleeping I did let you down in a wake up stay and out too late. Okay, friends, so these are the only stems that I purchased this year. I purchased four of them. I'm not gonna lie, I am gonna go back and purchase four more just because I always under purchase greenery and I end up needing more than I am anticipating but anyways that is basically the only stem that I purchased that is new this year and I really love it paired with the orange in this stem I just like that little hint of mustard yellow in the fuzzy balls that it has and then of course I'm adding a few more pairs here and just some finishing touches Now moving on to the pegs, I'm using the usual things that I use, which is kitchen towels. I have trivet holders, like knitted trivet holders that you guys will see in just a bit. And again, the only new item I'm using here is going to be the wreath you guys will see in just a second. I got that for around seven dollars at hobby lobby this year and i truly love it again it added the perfect amount of change from last year and it incorporates all the green colors that i'm using the yellows and the rust so i really love how it came out on this little peg shelf i know i let you down i made the same mistake i am the world Okay, friends, so I have these cute little containers from Michaels. This is a chai tea one, and then this one is a pumpkin spice one, but I figured it was just the small enough detail that fall is coming, and I was okay with leaving that out here. I'm just placing this on my table right here, and I'll be placing my coffee grounds inside of them. But for on top of my lockers, I'm just bringing back my cake stands. I love baking during this cozy season, so this is the perfect time to bring them back out and just display them on top of these lockers. Someday, all of this mess will only make us laugh. So find me at the rainbow's end. And we can right up to the top. Tuesday. 
Okay friends, now time for my dining room table. Over the course of the seasons, I have figured out that I love decorating my dining room table in a manner that kind of makes it look like I am preparing for a fancy dinner. I just love the look of displaying like all these items on the table and just making it seem like I am ready to serve a whole dinner course here. So I started off by placing this table runner. It is hearth in hand a few years old but I love the green color of it and then I'm placing a few decorative pieces as you guys can see. I'm placing some amber canisters, some candlesticks just to to make it feel extra cozy and fancy in a way i am adding these napkins with some wooden like napkin rings and then on the other side i'm adding some more candlesticks with some candles again i just love the ambiance that candles create on a dining room table and i am playing off the colors i use over in my coffee bar shelf so making sure i incorporate all the same colors all the same textures so the black vase going off of the like print that I use on the shelf and then to finish it off I felt like I needed a little bit of orange so I'm adding this kitchen towel to this bowl and inside of the bowl I'm finishing up by adding some of the pears and I really love how this came out I think it is so cozy and perfect for pre-fall Like sunshine and moonlight, like warm and bright, like pillows and pavement, like an accident and what's meant. We're like two different species, still the same. We're like Jekyll and Hyde, like Batman and Bruce Wayne. We're like fire and water, we're like sugar and salt. We're like everything and nothing at all. But when we are apart, I bleed and I starve. Your sweet, sweet touch Isn't when you are away I keep wishing that you stay I can't live without you by my side Alrighty friends, well that is everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it brought you some decorating inspiration. I really absolutely love how it came out. I think I definitely managed to create something a little bit different from last year while still remaining true to what I love, which is all those rich dark colors for fall without it being a fall yet. So I really am enjoying it. I'm excited to bring you guys part two and part three of this decorating series. And then of course, a fall videos, a full blown. So we are so excited here. I hope you guys are as well. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe. I really, really wanna hit 20K before Christmas. So your support would mean the world to me. And yes, I'm excited for the next next video. I will see you guys then. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. Bye!